Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do the gaming review for the Samsung Galaxy Fame Android phone and this is a budget oriented Android phone by Samsung and it sports a 1 GHz single core processor it has a GPU that's a Broadcom based one and it has 512 MB of RAM and let's start with some casual gaming I have already done the benchmarking for this phone so if you are interested in benchmarks you can check out this video Let's start with Subway Surfer and loading of games does take a while on this phone. Let me maximize the volume. So this is Subway Surfer and if you notice you saw that little bit of lag. For most of the part the game is very playable but yes uh, there is a slight lag at times with the survey surfer on this galaxy fame but again the game is very playable i would say Viewing angles are decent, not the best I would say, if you tilt the phone too much, they go bad, but overall acceptable I would say. So this is Subway Surfer, let's get out of this one. And if you notice there is a slight lag also when you hit the home button. And let's remove all these applications and let's now try another game that's Temple Run 2. So this is Temple Run 2. Let's play this one. The touch response is actually very good on this phone and it has five uh, multi-touch points. And as you can see, it can run this uh, Temple Run 2 game also without any issues. Actually, it's very smooth this one. The speaker volume is not very loud. It's on max as you can see. And uh, you will see a little bit of lag at times and I'm moving the screen and as you can see the viewing angles are not the best on this phone. In fact, the Galaxy Young I felt the viewing angles were a little bit better on that phone. So this is Temple Run 2 and as you can see it can play uh, it back also without any issues. So let me get out of this game now. And let's swipe that off. And now let's also try one more game. Uh, for example, let's try this uh, Beach Buggy Blitz. And see the animation, most of the part it is good but it is a little bit choppy. And let's play this game. But as you can see it is very playable once the game starts. I notice a little bit of choppiness when the levels change. But overall again very playable. And it's smooth for most of the part I would say. As you can see. Oops. So this is beach. Uh, let's again this game is also free on the android uh, uh, market and you can download it from the play store so let me get out of this one now and now let's try a uh, dead trigger i'm just going to skip because the loading uh, time does take a while so this is dead trigger and as you can see uh, this game also works fine on this phone 
but there is a little bit of lag that I noticed at times. Let me face this down. It's gonna kill everybody. Let's go ahead. And I would say this uh, game runs a lot smoother on this phone compared to the Galaxy Young. In the Galaxy Young it was a lot more choppier. And this game uh, is very playable on this uh, frame. Again it's not completely lag free. You will notice lag at time but again very playable I would say. This is dead trigger and uh, as you can see it can also be played without any issues on this galaxy fame the only thing is the viewing angles are not that great on this phone so let me get out of this one also i'll be also doing a complete in-depth review of this samsung galaxy fame so if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to the same that's it for now this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video